Transform your optical design process. Go from concept to sales in record time with ZMAX Virtual Prototyping from ZMAX. The new ZMAX License Manager, available in Optic Studio 19.4, is an enhancement to how licenses are handled in Optic Studio. With separate tabs for each license management functionality, the new License Manager allows you to more quickly and easily activate, manage, or troubleshoot your licenses. If you are a new user and have not yet activated an Optic Studio license, when you first launch Optic Studio, the ZMAX License Manager will open to the New License tab where you will be able to easily activate your first license. If you are a current user, you can reach the ZMAX License Manager within Optic Studio by first navigating to the Help tab and then clicking on the License Manager button. From here, the License Manager will open to the View License tab where you can view all of your available licenses. For each license, you can see the license number, its support or subscription expiration date, and the license type, location, and product type. For network licenses, you can also see the number of seats available and in use. For subscription licenses, the activation status is shown as either a checked box for subscription licenses that have been activated and signed into using your myzmax.com login credentials, or as an unchecked box for subscription licenses that still require a user login. All non-subscription licenses will simply be blank in this column. For any of the columns shown in this table, you can also easily navigate your licenses by clicking on one of the column headers to sort by that information. Aside from viewing license information, the View License tab is also where you can go to set any of your licenses to be the current default license. The default license is the license that is selected automatically when you open Optic Studio. To do this, simply click the Default button in the row of the license you wish to set as the default. The License Manager will then highlight this button in blue to show that this is the license currently selected as the default. The default license can be cleared at any time by pressing the Clear Default key. Next to the Default button, you will find the Checkout button. If available, this button will allow you to check out a seat from a network license. Also, if you use a black USB key, the Use Black USB Key button will allow you to set this as the default key. Lastly, each license listed also allows you to view more information by clicking on that license number. Moving on from the View License tab, the New License tab is where you can easily activate a new license. Simply enter the license number and copy over the activation code sent to you with your license purchase. If the license you are activating is a subscription license, you will also be prompted to give your MyZMAX username and password before activating the license. Next, if you ever need to transfer a license to another machine, you can use the Send License tab. Here, you will see a license table similar to the one found on the View License tab, However, this table includes the ability to transfer your license by clicking the Transfer button in the row next to the license you wish to send. Doing so will bring up a, a prompt giving you the option to enter an email address to send the transfer code to. Alternatively, you can press OK and the transfer code will be given in an additional window. If you are instead receiving a license transferred to you, you can navigate to the Receive License tab. 
Here, you can enter the license number and copy over the transfer code to activate that license. Similar to activating a new license, if you are receiving a subscription license, you will then be asked for a MyZMAX username and password to activate the license on your machine. Next tab in the License Manager is the Manage Licenses tab. Here, you can apply update codes to your licenses to renew support, upgrade to a subscription license, or add additional seats to a network license by clicking the Update button and copying over your update code. You can also click the Troubleshoot button or the Troubleshoot tab to bring up specialized tools that will allow you to troubleshoot your license with CMAX support. Lastly, the Help tab will provide a useful guide to each of the above license actions. So with that overview of the new ZMAX License Manager, I hope that you enjoy this feature and the rest of Optic Studio 19.4. Thank you for your time.